let's do this. Nah, let's do this. What if that were the volume control on a twin reverb, on a Fender amp that has a bright switch? This is a one meg audio pot. It's the volume on your twin. If you took a capacitor and put it across that resistor, what would it do? It would boost the high end. In other words, two scenarios. You've got the, the volume knob all the way up on your twin, on your deluxe, whatever. Your signal path for your guitar will flow through here, through here, and come out there basically unaffected by anything. If we take that same circuit, different scenario, and we take a little capacitor. Remember this is one meg, let's say this is 250 picofarads, which is one of the values they use. If we close this switch that happens to be called bright on a Fender amp, and we turn the volume down, notice we now have a full range path for the audio to pass through here, but there's a resistance in line with it. If we take this capacitor, we are actually bypassing a portion of the signal, in this case being just the high end, around that resistor. And if you want to redraw that and think of the pot or divider as two individual resistances, that's what we just said, that being the wiper of the control. The mechanical wiper of the pot. So the audio passes through here, but this resistor happens to be, because this is a one meg pot, and let's say it's at the spot where it's halfway, you've now created that, that actual divider, meaning the two resistors, and then you bypass the high end around this half of the pot or the resistor with that little capacitor. And if you turn that disconnect or connect that capacitor, you've bypassed the high end and it became a bright switch. That's how a bright switch works. You can add a bright switch. On, yeah, you can add a bright switch to this. But that's, to, that's all a bright switch typically is. So that's why the louder you get, the less effect that capacitor has. That's right. right. So when it's all the way up, if you have the knob, the gain all the way up or the volume all the way up on a fender amp and you move the switch, nothing happens. But you get the volume on two and you flip the switch, you get a ton of high end. So that's one of the, it's not a trick, but if you've got an amp that's got that gain control with a bright switch and a master volume control and you want it really clean, so you turn the master way up and you turn the, way, the gain way down, when you turn the bright switch on, it's going to be really, really bright if you've got the gain really low because we're going to pass, bypass a lot of the high end around it. You can adjust that. If you can get the gain control up a little ways and still not cause any distortion problem and just back the master down, the reason I say it, it happens on our modules, you can decrease the effectiveness of that bright switch because you turn this knob up and then your bright switch won't be quite as quite as bright. So it's not always, even though you want the cleanest, it's not always the best to have the gain as low as you possibly can in the master up. So the volume you customarily play at would impact the value of that cap? Yeah. You know, okay. Yeah, you could fool with the value of that cap if you always you have an amp or whatever and you want to move the frequency of that, that cutoff. And just because I know you guys are fool with your, your guitars too on another little subject um, 
we have a guitar pickup. We have, that's a guitar pickup. We have a volume control on our guitar and we have a jack. When you turn down the volume on your guitar, you're actually putting that resistance in series with your pickup hot signal. Same thing happens, depending on the value of this, what you plug it into, all that impedance stuff matters, and the impedance of your pickups, uh, you may lose high end. It's just the nature of all this stuff. These are all high impedance things, so they're sensitive to cable capacitance. This is sensitive to the pot value. That's why a 500K pot sounds a little brighter than 250. 250 because it's not as much load on the pickup. So everything interacts and sometimes negative, sometimes not. So when you get those little networks so that when you turn your volume on your guitar down you don't lose the high end, they're doing this. And they typically have a resistor in there because that works better with the pickups. But it's a bright switch. That's back, it's a backwards bright switch. You turn your guitar down and it cuts everything, but it allows some of the high end to go around the pot and you don't lose all your high end when you turn the knob down. So you can apply this stuff to your guitar too. <laughs>